one, two, three, enter. One, pause, ooh, there we go. And then, right, look how nice that goes. So the key to this maneuver is absolutely 100% timing. And a good setup. If you set the hover auto up nice, probably gonna be nice. If you set it up sloppy, you don't feel good about it, the enter is probably gonna come out sloppy. That's just the way it works. Remember, it's all about timing. So now what I wanna do, get a stabilized hover going. So I wanna focus outside, I'm gonna say 50 to 75 feet. I'm actually looking at a house out there, it might be 300 yards, I don't know, but I'm looking out at a house way out ahead of me. Reposition your hand on the throttle just means you're moving your wrist outward more than you would normally because when we roll throttle off, we wanted a nice smooth fluid movement. And you have to do it simultaneous throttle off right pedal. And you gotta do it smooth and simultaneous or else the maneuver will be screwed up. On the cyclic, when I enter, I go a little bit forward and a little bit to the right. To get ready for the maneuver, I wanna start looking outside, 50, 75 feet, stabilize hover going, and I'm gonna count it off. One, two, three, enter. So here we go in one, two, three, enter. Throttle off right pedal, I paused, I pulled, now my collective back down. People will do that, and then they keep the collective up there, and then the helicopter starts shaking. Once you make ground contact, collective back down. Let's see, on this one, I'll try to uh, focus more on the pause. I'm even going to count one 1,000 and then pull. So one, two, three, enter. One, pause, ooh, there we go. And then, right, look how nice that goes. Okay, wasn't the prettiest auto ever, but I paused. But when you do this for the private pilot, you want to make sure you keep that nose pretty straight. So very important to stay on top of those pedals and keep that nose straight. No rearward movement, no sideways movement. You want to come straight down or even a little bit of forward movement wouldn't be bad. So here we go. Remember, simultaneously roll off the throttle and add the right pedal. I pause for about one 1,000 and then try to do a smooth pull and then collective back down. So here we go in one, two, three, enter. I like that one. Let's do one more. I probably can't beat that last one. I doubt this one looks as good. That last one was nice. I don't know how it looked on the outside, but it sure felt good on the inside. So here we go. Reposition my hand on the throttle. And count. One, two, three, enter. Throttle off right, pedal pause. A little bit of a pull. Onto the ground, kept the nose straight. Pretty darn nice. That one was not as good as the last one, but still pretty good. The key is don't go sideways, don't go backwards, and don't let the nose turn too far left or right. You want to keep that nose forward. If you can do that, if you stay on top of those pedals, again, common mistakes, people roll the throttle off and pull a whole bunch, or they slam the collective on the floor, and that doesn't work either. We're going to do one more. One, two, three, enter. Throttle off right, pedal pause, pull. Collective back down, pedals back to neutral. And there you go. I think it'll be good. You know what, what the hell, let's do one more. One, two, three, enter. Oh yeah. Just then, another shipment of our Amazon number one bestsellers, top 10 checkride tips, and helicopter checkride. We bought the books for you. You just pay shipping and handling here in the US, and Heather ships them to you here from the Hogs Hangar. There's a link down below to get either book. So head down below to get your free paperback. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.